Welcome. So now we're going to cover setting up the the SCEP profile and everything for the Microsoft Cloud PKI. So keep in mind, documentation is probably not out there yet, so we're going off what we believe that we know. And obviously, as you can see here, the URLs aren't quite ready yet. So what I do is I go here, and I download the CA certificate, because that's part one. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to create a new policy for Windows 10. You can't quite see it here, so I'll move that up a little bit, but we select Trusted Certificate. I'm going to call this Demo Root CA. And so we're going to grab that cert. Put that that an intermediate store. Hit next. Next. No, why not? We'll just do all devices. This is just testing, but keep in mind, you know, the recommendation is to use specific groups. Don't just put it at all devices or all users, but this is just for demo purposes. So anyway, I create and I add that. So once that's done, we create our SCEP profile. So we select SCEP certificate. And I'm not going to save this, but I'm going to take you through the whole portion here. So demo. So certificate type user is fine. I'm not going to really mess with this stuff. One of the keys, because we did... Uh, 4096 is that you have to do enroll the software KSP or it will not work. So I'll select digital signature and key encipherment. Go 4096, SHA-2. Then we hit plus on the root certificate. We select our demo root CA, hit OK. And so next we're going to pick our key usages. We'll just do client auth. Notice, note here is that they actually have little disclaimers here about the cloud PKI now. The last piece is we need to go find our SCEP server URL, which is right here, which obviously is problematic because it's not populating correctly. So I grab that URL. We're going to go next. Then from here, we'll go next, and we'll go next, next, you know, we assign, we create. And then it's just that simple, and that's all you'll have to do. And we look forward to really being on testing and looking at this more once it's really fully baked and ready and gone fully GA.